skip casting has got to be one of the most exciting and effective ways to chase mangrove jack in and around natural structure and even pontoons I reckon. Um, it's not just mangrove jack though, bass respond really well to it, even trevally, definitely barramundi. In this video what I want to do is take you through some of the different jig heads that you can use that are going to help you either get better skips, so get it further and deeper underneath cover, or just help you get it get started and um, maybe just a couple of different options for different applications. So the one that I'm running here, um, this is a EWG, what's called like a weighted worm hook and it's a weedless worm hook so it's, it, you sit like that just above the profile of the lure and some hook systems even allow it just to sit inside and they collapse down when the fish grabs it. Um, and you might be able to see there because this is a sort of like a clear translucent plastic. This first cast um, little plastic is a twist lock up the front there. And that allows you just to twist the plastic on. I'll see if I've got another one here I can show you. Here's some. That allows you to twist the plastic on and it just keeps it in place. So for a lot of plastics, apart from probably like Z-Mans, they don't really like that style of rigging, um, that's the way to go. A little twist lock and then you have like some kind of weighting system in behind there. And these worm hooks, um, Stuart Wilson makes these for me, um, but there's a lot of other options that you can get uh, out of Savage Gear Manic Shrimp, for example, or uh, Rapala. Um, have VMC hooks which do it as well and Gamagatsu make them. There's a whole host of these hooks but the way that you want to rig these things is primarily weedless and, and the reason for that is because you're skipping in underneath all of this cover up into caves and things like that and you don't want to be getting snagged deep deep in the cover. So one of the other options is uh, these snake locks heads with a Z-Man attached and you can run those and skip those pretty well. They're not the best, but you can still do it. Uh, but if you're just getting started, I'd suggest you probably go with something else. So something like um, even an unweighted, like these are a strategic by VMC, that's an unweighted worm hook. And if you wanted to run like a big, a big plastic, like a paddle tail plastic like that on it, like a five inch then you're going to be able to still have the weight to be able to skip really well and just start to work on your technique if you haven't seen my videos on skip skip casting for jacks um, or bass make sure you check those out i've got 101 like how to how to skip and um, lots of tips on how to skip i want to talk to you more in this video just about the different options for weighting so there's there's a lot of uh weighted worm hooks like this that have the weight uh, right down in the middle here and not up the front and that just makes it a little bit more difficult for the fish to present properly when you're bringing it in and it doesn't skip as well so having a weight forward like this and if you've got like a little chin lock set up like Stuart's made for me there then you can use Z-Mans on something like that really well um, what else have I got here to show you just a traditional jig head. If you're wanting to get into it and just use like your basic jig head like that, that's a TT, um, like a headlock system. I just use like a sixth of an ounce and put the big hooks on the back. But what you'll get, the plastic will, uh, the plastic's gonna sit with the hook proud. When you, when you rig it properly, the hook's gonna be sitting up like that so it's much more snaggy. And if you're throwing in and around heavy cover, uh, you're going to get snagged a lot more, but your hookup rate will be better like this. So often, this is the way that I roll, often I'll have two setups going and one is kind of like a snag resistant or snag proof weedless setup and the other setup that I've got rigged just has one of those regular jig heads on it. So depending on the cover and what I'm trying to get into, I might fish with it not weedless so that you can, you can get the better hookup rate and try and get the fish that way because you still get a lot of hits using these weedless hook, uh, hooks. You tend to sort of miss a few fish and that sort of thing. Um, so having it sit like that, especially like a Z-Man, you're gonna be able to skip that and you don't want too much weight on there. But it's a playoff between having a really light setup that's gonna fly and skip like a rock across the surface of the water and having enough weight so that when you start to retrieve it it goes down and gets into the strike zone for a mangrove jack or a barrel or a bass so that's really what you're looking for um, 
what are, what are a couple of the other things that I can talk you through? The twist locks are really important. If you haven't got twist locks and you're trying to use regular plastics, you're just going to be ripping the face off the plastic and tearing your plastics to pieces. Uh, Z-mans don't do that, but you need like a chin a chin lock system for those those hooks. So the chin locks look. Show you, I'll just rip this. The chin locks look like that, and it's got the little lead piece there that just sits the chin of the Z-Man in place so it doesn't fall down. And then you just sit the hook, it'd sit inside the plastic there like that. But with the snake lock set up like that, unless you're really versed with your skipping, you're gonna find that a little bit difficult. Um, so that's really what you want. The, the options to start with, if you're really trying to improve your skipping, my suggestion is have a look at some of my past videos, firstly on how to do it, but start with bigger plastics. What have I got? I'll show you a lot. These by first cast, that's like a potty mullet. And there's, an, there's enough weight in that and it's a big enough profile on the side of the plastic to be able to fly and skip in. So things like that. Just be careful when you're rigging stuff like this because it's got a, a fairly chunky body profile to it. If, if you're rigging it and the hook is kind of like not pulling the plastic back, then they'll start to roll a bit and that action isn't as good. It's, it's good for a barra, but not as good for a jack. So you kind of want your, see if I can show you with one of these. You kind of want your plastic. Just gonna see that coming out. About to run in under a bush. You kind of want your plastic not really able to bend there too much like that. So when you rig it and you're, and you're pushing that hook through, you try and get, get it straight like that and then without tearing the plastic you want to sort of sit it back like that so it's pulled tight and that'll give it a way better skipping action uh, when you're casting and it'll give it a better action when it's swimming back it'll it'll stay truer on the way back um, the weights on here are like either a sixth or an eighth um, of an ounce and now that I've got my game going and I'm trying to get down into the strike zone a bit more I tend to go for like a quarter ounce on that EWG that weight there so hopefully that clears a couple of things up for you. Um, they're, they're hard to find, some of these hooks sometimes. Like I said, I get them out of the Manic Shrimp um, by Savage Gear. Um, and VMC do them as well. Who else doesn't? Get my guts to. Um, but yeah, you can find them. They're EWG worm hooks, weighted worm hooks, and they cost a little bit, but um, they're the way to go for your skipping if you're trying to get in undercover. And you can get in into caves, overhangs, into crazy heavy brush like I'm fishing here. And uh, by God, if you haven't done it or you're, you're looking to get into it, it's an, it's an incredible way to go and chase fish. They're super aggressive because they, they don't see lures in there very often. And um, getting them out is a whole different story. So hopefully that's, that helps you. If you've got some ideas or some questions, just chuck them in the comments. And um, I'll either get back to you or I'll create a video on it just to sort of clear up some of the questions on the skip casting. I know there's a lot of people who've got some interest around it because it's so effective. And it's a real challenge. It's just something different to try. Um, and it's a lot of fun. So, yeah, hopefully you're getting some value out of these videos. I'll, uh, I'll keep putting them together, so keep asking questions, and um, if there's things you don't know, I'll, uh, I'll keep basing a lot of these videos on uh, helping to sharpen up some of your casting and skip casting game to hopefully help you get onto a few more fish. All right, I'll see you in the next video.